So you are new to the world of chat GPT, Bing chat or Xeno chat. Let me tell you about the five things you should be careful with about when working with these new technologies. This is a continuation of a series debunking and adjusting some of the over enthusiasm about AI assistance. I'm an enthusiast, absolutely, but hopefully I'm helping you here to accelerate the adoption of their usage by sharing you a little knowledge about what you can do with them and what you can't. AI powered tools in general have proven to be quite useful for many areas of our life. But all those videos about how people with no coding experience build Python based trading bots earning you 5k a month or how they use ChatGPT to check facts, uh, even they, some of them use these AI chats currently, no matter if ChatGPT or XenoChat or something else to take healthcare advice, I would be careful with. Most of it comes from AI hallucination, something I hopefully bring to you a little bit later into this video. My name is Dominic and I'm one of the co-founders of Text Cortex, one of the top 200 early stage AI companies in Europe who is building your next level AI companion. So let me tell you a little bit more about the limitations of these new AI chat assistants. First of all, they sound incredibly confident, but are not all knowing and certainly do not always tell the truth. They just mathematically calculate which words fit best into a sequence, also known as your sentence or your prompt. The second reason is that their base knowledge is not recent and for the near future will not be 100% recent because of an imbalanced availability of new information versus old information. Some of these models took months to train and understand the knowledge they have been reading through, so to say. Imagine retraining a model every week, every day and every second. That's currently a hard technical problem, which we might solve as humanity. That's very true, but not for the time being. So be careful about this limitation. So let's get into the do's and don'ts when working together with AI assistants like ChatGPT, Bing Chat or XenoChat. First of all, own your thoughts. You can ask AI assistants to come up with ideas for your essay, your academic chapters, your reports, your professional reports. However, take them as inspirations and bring in your own thought work. Own your original ideas and build on top of it with assistance of Xeno, for example. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how I collaborate with Xeno to write three paragraphs on the UK's legal system. And again, own your original ideas and build on top of it just together with the assistance of Xeno. I'm doing a quick shortcut here. Important when prompting Xeno is that you follow well understandable instructions and commands. Those usually consist of three fundamental components an action verb like write, a format being the three paragraphs and lastly the context on what Zeno should write about in this case of the UK legal system. The UK legal system is massive so you should be much more concise about what you want to write about. After a short time of consideration Zeno will give you an idea about the topic and in the next step I can also collaborate with Zeno to make it sound more academic for example. This leads me to my second point don't copy and paste bluntly. If you just copy and paste everything it's it's not going to help you, neither the reader of your writing. This is in particular important when you work in the areas of SEO or in an academic field. While the content will not be plagiarized, they are now AI content classifiers that can spot AI written text which will find its application in search engines as well as acad academia. All in all, don't be flagged as an AI spammer. Instead, make your own edits, bring in your own sentences to form the whole piece and Collaborate with Zeno to build and build and build together, step by step, divide and conquer a larger problem into smaller ones. You can also use the other text cortex functionalities such as rephrasing or expanding of some chapters or some sentences to make it less likely for the detection to flag you basically. Long story short, do not fully rely on AI generated content. The third issue comes from the compulsive reasoning of these tools. Current AI models are masters in conveying their message confidently, making it sound plausible, even in fact they are completely wrong. You remember that limitation I told you in the beginning? Always cross-check the truthfulness of the statements which Zeno or ChatGPT has given you. Coming to my fourth point, and I can just repeat myself, don't let ChatGPT or Zeno be the only author of your work. While they can help you improve your writing, sound more confident, it doesn't provide sources for the content and creates. So beyond placing your own creativity, do your homework and find supportive arguments from existing research, ideally scientifically proven on common platforms like Google Scholar. Coming to my fifth point, do not use them for 
biased or offensive content. It's true that AI models like Xeno are getting better and better at understanding more sensitive topics, but when it comes to potentially biased and offensive content, we really need to be careful as humanity. So if you're ever in doubt about the accuracy of an AI system on a controversial topic, play it safe and do your own research, in particular if it's a more recent event, for example. This basically concludes my five steps which you should know about when you just get started with that new technology. Otherwise, sign up to our newsletter to get a copy of the ultimate guide to Xenochat with a hundred powerful prompts to work around Xeno. Link will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe to our channel, like and share our video and comment any type of topic you would like us to cover in a future video. Otherwise, thank you very much and see you in the next video.